Hope EDG don't stomp. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I think EDG is considered pretty big favorites. Even um, the people that I talked to from LCK rate DRX pretty low. I think, I mean, probably because DRX was like sixth place in regular season and, and people just thought that they were that great of a team um, in regular season. But I think at Worlds, DRX has been playing better than they were originally. So who knows? And I think EDG is playing worse than than they were as well. So uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So Mako has not been great on um, Enchanters like Soraka. So, I mean, I think DRX is getting what they want here. I think DRX is looking solid in this game one draft. Ends up being a Sivir with Soraka. It's a Sivir Soraka into the Ash um, Heimer, Oriana. So these are not normally Zika's best champions. I mean, they're probably just going to go tank top here. I, I don't think they should go for Fiora. I think they need like more like reliable CC in frontline with their comp. I don't really know about the King and Fiora. I feel like Kingen's just a weak side top. I mean, I feel I feel like both these tops are not very good for this tournament standards. Like Zeus, Breathe, 369 are above the rest. It seems. What do you think about this game, the draft? I kind of like what EDG is showing. Uh, I like what DRX's, personally. Okay. Just for them, because I, I feel like um, EDG is not extremely good with enchanters. Like, they're okay, I guess. But they're not as good as, uh, you know, I mean, Mako... Uh, Mako's a weird, a weird player at this point, because he used to be super good on engage, and then, like, this year it felt like he kind of took a step back, so... I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how good he is in comparison to somebody like Barrel, because like Barrel is also like really hit or miss when I watch him play. Sometimes he's like the f***ing goat, and sometimes he's sprinting it. What's happening mid, by the way? Why is Zika just outlaning Azir with Oriana? Am I missing something? It's actually, it's actually crazy what is happening. Zika yep. is completely unleashed while he's playing this game. I was thinking, you know, he's playing Azir, uh, and I'm happy to have Azir into Oriana, but he makes this matchup look so one-sided somehow. <laughs> Yep. Mm. See if this gank works. He has ghost. He has no flash. Maybe when like he goes this. for cannon. I think this could be good if he goes for cannon here. Yeah, he's going to go for it right here. Oh, what? Okay, there it is. Uh, I guess not. I guess Flandre doesn't want to flash. He, he doesn't want to grief by accident, but I think that, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess he trades his ult for ghost there. Yeah, this wasn't it. Yep. Cannon is a TP bot, maybe. But he's gonna sack it. That's kind of rough. Yeah, it's pretty rough for them. Cause they were actually holding on up until this wave. You know, I'm I'm a I'm a Heimer hater. I I hate playing against this champion. This is like one of the champions I just can't stand playing against. Mako's dead. Oh, somebody Ooh. stunned him. Oh wait, that was kick. Wait, no, what was that? Well, I think it was just cannon, probably. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh my God, Andre. Okay. They're scrapping it out. I mean, the whole time Fiora is uh, Fiora was able to leave the fight and go mid, getting damage on the mid turret, which is pretty good. He's sick of his shit, man. <laughs> I like that they're contesting through bottom side on ocean map. I think mm. it's very good. Yeah, I mean, There's the no rush is really zone. nice. It was a very hard fight for the Erics. <laughs> I guess that's the arrow. I don't, I don't know if the Fiora flank is actually that potent here. Maybe the Donger is going to hit a massive RE. Oh, well, he's just one shot. Oh. <laughs> I guess he's not. <laughs> okay, Pioshik just ulted backwards, by the way. <laughs> just so you know, Pioshik ulted backwards. Just in case everyone was wondering, why did Pioshik die like that? Well, he ulted backwards. Oh. Okay. Zika goes forward. Scout will kill him. Oh my god, JJ. Jesus, JJ. <laughs> Jesus, JJ. I think Scout can chase death, though. He has arrow in a second. Maybe he can survive with that. I don't know if he has mana for it. No, he's dead. Too empty. It's good by Scout. Scout smurfed it. And now Scout got like four kills, which is really crazy. I mean, running it back, I think, is pretty good for EDG. I, I think DRX is, is inting by going for this. They have no flash on either carry. I mean, maybe if they land a big arrow, I guess. It's all up to, like, the arrow. It's like some big dinger ult is, is the prayer. But from the front, I think it's a lot harder. Yeah, it's pretty f***ing hard. The thing is, Azir can keep them off the flank so easy. Flandre has no uh, flash this time. Up on the front side instead, Zivir will pop, nice 
Ooh. Okay. It's good. Is really insane. Yeah, it's really good for DRX. It I'm surprised that um move. that EDG let them like contest that or let it become a 50-50. I think that EDG should be able to like take space and kill them if they walk up. Andre, I think, needs to start looking around. No words for Kingen. Can they even do anything to scout here, though? I don't think they can do anything go. to him. Oh, they got Mako. Oh, big scout. Oh, my God. That's huge. Oh, JJ hit. Kingen can't do anything. Oh. oh, Barrel's dead too. That's like game over almost. That's game over, yeah. They're gonna hit IE and they're gonna hit uh, Rikor on everybody. Scout's lane this phase is pretty fight. sus, but outside of lane, he did well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Fondre needs to stop watch if he's gonna defend. Who's gonna defend this? Guys, we're, we're defending this, no? I mean, Azir has to base. Holy, the top, the, in. The top Bro, and hip doesn't just... matter too much. As long as they don't literally end the game, should be okay. Oh, that guy's dead. Oh, God, that was the f***ing four seconds, one vital again. <laughs> oh, no. Bro, my man Beryl just came here to to deny him the fucking Hullbreaker passive. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Zika's face. Zika saw that He's like, you mother king in. You've been inting me all year long, but like, this is just, this is insane right here. What the f*** was this, brother? Doesn't Scout need to, or doesn't somebody, didn't Viper need to push out top here? Aren't you kind of worried about King and TPing and ending? I guess not. I guess that's the angle. Where, where did Oriana TP? Do you know? Um, TP back to base. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, okay they killed Aaron. All right, GG. Oh, JJ, come on, bro. Like, this is a real game. Nah, <laughs> don't. F no, dude, this is a real game. What the? F Are they actually not going to be able to end because he's griefing? Dude, I would be, I would be fucking yeah. mad because of that. I, I hate seeing players do that, like trolling when the game's actually not over. And, like you see Scout laughing and like, come on, bro. Renekton banned Fiora banned by DRX. Wait, so they're banning Flandre's Fiora. What? So they're trading Aatrox and Graves. I'm not a fan of this. Yeah, I don't like this. What does Flandre want to play against Aatrox is the question. I mean, Flandre's, is Flandre going to play Jax, bro? Please don't let Flandre play Jax. Too bad his coach is in, in isolation. <laughs> oh, shit. His coach can't stop. Oh, he did it. I knew he was going to do this motherfucker, Flandre. This guy <laughs> is, he is target inting his team, Perma. Oh, Poppy. Poppy would be bad here. You don't want to play Poppy into Sejuani like in this game, I don't think. I think if they pick Poppy, then they are for sure picking Azir, no? Because they are expecting Akali on three. This is kind of weird if you're picking Poppy to pick Akali, in my mind. Doesn't because Scout just that, play Azir uh, anyway and just not give a f Yeah, this is surprising. I, I thought the only reason they would pick Poppy is to pick a mage and, and, and Scout's answer most of the time is is of course the akali he likes to pick akali into azir so i thought yep. this was the angle but if you pick poppy and akali together it's kind of counterintuitive i, I wonder if they ban uh Aphelios Aphelios? yes I, yeah. I was thinking the same thing i think Aphelios is a good ban here i think you take Aphelios if you're viper here every time and before they just pick varus heimerdinger here for five soraka out i think you're fine Varus with it though aren't you like if they go Varus heimerdinger and you go so i can pick lulu lulu a lulu Aphelios, like you're probably okay with it i mean i feel like they have like zero scaling then ezreal dinger okay ezreal dinger it's no. not so weak if you can have passive stack on it all the time not too shabby Dude, look at that tech bro of course barrel's the the heimer mastermind man of course he's like practice the shit. he's like He's the type of guy in scrims, you know, he just tells you the tech one day. <laughs> is oh, wait, is this? Wait, what the f like... did he just do? Wait, didn't he just lose both of his summoners for zero reason? Wait, didn't he just int? Like, didn't he this completely is... grief there? Or am I missing something? Wait, I did. You know, I trust it, bro. Barrel, Barrel's the fucking goat. I trust it. That was nuts. Also, Flandre just completely butchered his wave. Welcome, Pioshik. Oh. oh, come on, come on. Joshik might have to flash. Scout, get him anyway? No. I mean, that's really big for Poppy losing flash, though, I think. JJ's just gonna bait. Oh, is he not gonna base? Okay. The double flash? Like, JJ's flash is just bugged on the fucking minimap? 
or uh, on the uh, spectator, I mean. I, I hate that those bugs still exist, man. We've had spectator bug for this in the game for five years. It just happened randomly in like season eight. We've just been here for five years and they just haven't fixed it. It's crazy. I don't even know if they can do this. Oh, that guy's just dead, by the way. Man. I think Mako could have flashed the E there. Flandre still has his TP, by the way. He like didn't TP yet at all. Oh, Zeka is TPing on the third. They want to dive. I mean, Pioshik should just not be allowed to do this. Pioshik should just die here for this now. Yeah, Pioshik is dead, I think. Oh. oh. They're both dead or what? Did Zika just flash? He did. That was kind of old. Wait, why did Zika flash? He griefed, no? What's going on here? Ooh, barrel? Oh, barrel. Oh, flash of death. Oh my god, the flash barrel. No, 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 sir. DRX is making eyes bleed. I mean, DRX is... I don't know. I think both these teams are like kind of sus, to be honest. I'm not super confident in EDG. I think there was a big difference between top two and LPL in like three and four. Like, I mean, EDG got rocked by top esports, which people will think is like funny, you know, obviously, because oh, that was not good from Viper. Looks like Ali into Lulu. All of this Ooh, they go here. He's he's backing outside of the bush. Ah, <laughs> uh, Barrel. Oh, Barrel. Barrel is running it in this one. Ooh, they can dive this. Okay. I think this is a bad TP. Let's see. Oh, maybe it's okay. Maybe they don't have damage. Scouts here. Maybe it could be int. What's happening? Good ulti from Scout, but he might be dead. Oh, let's see. Zika's out of juice. Viper got ulted by um, Pioshik, I think. All right. Two TPs from DRX, but they should get the turret. Yeah, they'll also probably get the better base. Yep. For the situation around Drake. I Three like, TPs so used by DRX now. <laughs> I mean, okay. I guess, I guess for tempo on mid turret, I guess it's fine. Okay, so Beriel. Beriel with the, with the cancellations. Yeah, I think the problem now for DRX is not about... Oh my god. Bar Barrel is really just running it down this game. Oh my uh, god. Yeah. Viper's playing solo queue here versus this guy, isn't he? Like, doesn't it look like Viper's just like like playing some solo queue? Like, oh, I guess this guy's just hinting. I, mean, I, I don't just even want think. for this fight. But yeah. This is so squishy. It's a second Drake, actually. It's like I'm dying like paper. Okay. JJ is getting chunked for this. Gets ejected. They have to give up JJ and leave. Oh, Viper got stunned. Viper got stunned. Okay. All right, big, big for DRX. All right. All right. Pretty big. I mean, EDG has to be like really careful now because they have uh, no flash on Viper. They have to play kind of like put for the next ever long. Oy. All right. He's just dead. That's Nash. Yeah. I mean, they're going to start Nash. I think they should look for the turn. It's also easy for Poppy to W the, the Seju, but. Ooh. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> All right. EDG did a good job of basing out of vision here because you have to respect that they could be on the map. Uh, I think that this is a iffy Baron start. I think it's a good sniff. Maybe a poppy old lands again like it did before. Yeah. There's no schedule to cancel him this time as well. Oh, okay. Jesus. Kind of close. All right. I mean, they, they got it. That's just a flip but i mean they won the flip oh the they're teaming behind on deft i don't know if deft realizes does he have he has flash what? Deft to go. oh i mean viper has viper can't get through okay, okay. wait this could be soul hold up hold up i think drx kind of are here a little bit i don't know if they have damage without ezreal pioshik should die too Bonk and Flandre. yeah okay it's kind of interesting Got an interesting little situation here. Deft has CP in, in 22, which is kind of good. They got soul. They got soul. 
Mako died though. Yeah, Mako died, but I mean, I think it's a win for EDG getting soul with their comp. Zeke is dead too. Oh, Zika lives. Oh my god, and the turret, the minions just got there for turret, and the scout is dead as well. Wait, there's TP on Ezreal. Yeah, there's TP on Ezreal. I don't think they can end. They have two inhibs, but no Baron for three minutes. I actually think this is a pretty bad situation for DRX. Scout with the Banshees here. Oh my god, you see the damage from Viper with the turret, though? Holy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, did he get him? Oh my god, he fucking killed him. <gasps> That's huge. Yeah, they can leave now. But I mean, you go down mid, you get them out, and you're chilling. This is. Uh, I think this is a fake play from Pioshik. I don't think this works. I think this is bad from Pioshik. Yeah, I think he's inting. I'm pretty sure he just entered the game. They just get Baron off that. Yeah, it's a fake play. Dude, I don't understand how players don't realize that's like that's super fake right there. You know, like I feel like you should be able to in the moment see the way that they're moving and being like, mm, this will not work. Look at Barrel's HP. They're TPing to end. They're TPing to end. Flandre has to TP to Nexus. Somebody has to go to Nexus. Flandre has no TP. Only Azur has oh, TP. Okay. He doesn't actually have TP. It's Flandre. Flandre oh, recalled. Nice recall. He has it. Does he end? He ends. <gasps> Wait, what happened to to Flandre's original recall? Oh, Flandre. Oh, the oh, inib. The inib. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the craziest inhib respawn we've ever seen. That's the craziest inhib respawn we've ever seen in League of Legends history. That is the craziest inhib respawn that we have ever seen in League of Legends history. Right there. His auto was in the air. It was that was in the, the craziest. Air. That is the craziest inhib respawn. Oh, Wait, man. so what stopped Flandre here? Did Barrel stop him? Or did he just fuck up his base? He fucked up his base, no? He stopped his what? recall! Flandre into so recall. hard, bro. Flandre stopped his recall to Baron recall for no reason. What the f Flandre actually Jeez. sold the game, bro. Flandre sold oh. the game. Holy f Flandre, Flandre, brother. That was not it. Jesus. And they got Elder. Oh my god. They know Zika's the only one with TP. I mean, if EDG is smart, they don't have to they don't have to worry about too much here. I think they will end here. Yeah, they should end. No, they're, they're trolling by going on this Aatrox, but I don't think it matters. Play for Viper. Oh. We just play for Viper here. Yep, it's over. GG. Wow, man, that inhib respawn. That, that was crazy. Insane. That is crazy. That was insane, bro. What the f Bro, the auto was in the air, I think. That what was... Holy sh What a f Robbery, dude. Holy Heimer yeah, ban. Dude. They've had enough, bro. They're like, this little rat champion. Does EDG go Graves? I don't think EDG is going to go Graves. I think, if anything, they'll go like Lee Sin into Graves again. They're really going to go the Graves? Okay. I don't really like playing Graves into Aatrox. I think it's just like and rough, to be honest. Decent oh, Kindred game. It's a Pioshi classic. Yep. This is a pretty good Kindred. Kindred angle. Like when you pick it into Graves plus Fiora. Yours is not good into Kindred, really. I, I don't like EDG's draft so far. Smelling like a Thresh game to me. But, I mean, the problem right now is that they don't have much CC for Kindred. So I think Kindred is kind of like busted a little bit. No oh, he shot. Locked it. He locked the Draven. I wonder what Viper plays here. There's like not much that's good into Draven that's up, no? Soraka. Soraka okay. Draven? I, I really hate Soraka Draven as a lane. I feel like this is like weird. I mean, it could be okay in isolation, but I'm taking Kalista here. Every time. I think Kalista, um, Kalista with uh, Renata can actually kill a Draven. Oh, wow. Ooh, Zika's what inting. What the? Oh my god, Zika, you just sold the game, brother. You didn't even get the red. Oh no. I don't know how you feel about it. I feel like if Victor gets like early kills and gets the laser upgrade, this champion is just so insane. It's very rough. Yeah, just contesting it like that. Oh, the eye! Oh yeah. my god, the eye! It's so, it's so sad. But I mean, I think it's actually like not even that bad because they get another kill and then Victor's going to be close to another upgrade. That's pretty f***ing unlucky though with the eye. 
see Pia Shakir, Mako ults. Draven's dead. This is game. Oh, he got the shutdown. Thank God. Dude, if he didn't get that, the game is over. 100%. Oh, my God. Bro, I'm like rooting for EDG, but at the same time, just seeing Draven not get the fucking cash in, it's just too triggering for me. <laughs> like, I can't handle it. Ooh. Ooh okay. Yoshik is in trouble here. Ooh, big! Ooh. Huge from Zika. Oh my wow. god, that was so big. Wow. This is not the mark? Oh, it is. Yep, that's his fourth. I mean, that's pretty big. Viper is ah, so kinda... weak for this. I, I think this is a big mistake this by EDG. Really yeah, I think it's really a big mistake. I mean, they can maybe outplay it, but I just think it's really unnecessary because you're in such a winning position. This is such a good angle as well for the ult. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that EDG is blundering super hard here. Like Kalissa didn't base. Renata has no wards in inventory. Andre grief that, but it's fine. And seeing how Kindred is playing Meryl. the situation now, it looks like they put Kalissa ult on Kindred. Yeah, they did. Are they just going straight mid? <laughs> Open mid or what? Uh, Flandre put the pink and spotted the kindred. Yep. Well, this guy's griefing. Uh, DRX is comp looks so bad now, unfortunately. I really like that they're staying here until they defend instead of like rushing Drake and giving up oh, position. Oh, big! Oh, boom! He's got his flash. Ooh, oh, he's dead! Silence. He's dead! It's big! Okay. Okay. That's okay. Soul. It's winnable. Holy! They get soul. And Nash. Yep. Oh, the the end of death. Ah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Scout, <laughs> Scout didn't get anything off there. Oh, they don't get Soul. They get Nash, though. Hmm. Okay. Closer game now. Oh, this TP is also dangerous. He's yeah, this is really dangerous. Oh, my God. Scout's actually inting the whole game. He was so strong. He's actually solo losing it. What is this TP, dude? <laughs> Holy Scout. What a fucking crazy choke. Bro, I'm disappointed in him. Like I'm yeah, surprised that he that. that he threw like this. But he's I don't know, he's normally better than that. He's fighting for the pride of our group. Come on. Come on, Scoot. Yeah, no armor reduction seems kinda true. I wonder if Sides can keep this position. Ooh. I don't mind. Oh. Big? Scout oh, has Zanyas? Oh, maybe not. Oh? Ziga? Oh. Did Ziga in though? Oh! <gasps> Did it oh, oh. GA for Viper. Oh, it's but CG. it's over. It's over. It's over. Oh. Okay, clean. I mean, Scout's going to try to defend, but I don't think he can do it. All right, big. We got a series. Holy moly. Super disappointing from Scout to like... I mean, Scout was having a pretty good series. It's pretty disappointing that he like griefed it like this, though. Yeah, yeah he got caught to two key moments. Yep. Zeka played a fight pretty crazy that he got so many spells off. Yeah. He's playing on edge. Holy Fucking shit. Def, Def Draven, he gets a win in his career on this Yeah, <laughs> it's his first career zero, win. Two. I mean, I think you definitely give the Aatrox take the Yumi, so... I wonder if um, the RX are in the state of mind, if they are expecting Caitlyn ban, or yep. if they're gonna trade Kate to Yumi. Okay, there we go, Kate ban. So they will probably ban Yumi now. And yep. then they just play Fiora. First pick, Aatrox. Yep. I'm not a huge fan of Camille into Aatrox. I think it's kind of fake matchup. A little scrim anecdote. I do think that uh, from scrims, King as Camille looked like by far his best jump. Yeah, I, I agree. He looks definitely way better on, on Camille than like the Fiora we saw. The Fiora we saw was pretty fake. Varys were not a, a little interesting. But then, I mean, I guess Beryl could always pull out the Thresh. Maybe Beryl will play Ash himself here. Oh, he did it. He did it. I mean, that's the counter, bro. But I, I don't know. I feel like it's it's a little bit scary in this game. This is a very risky Drake. I, I really don't like this Drake, but I mean, maybe it works. 
Like, he needs help on it, by the way. The balling has to come. Like, he can't solo. I'm not a fan. I, I think they can get away with it because they spotted Lee both before, but I don't like it. Yeah. Cause, cause, yeah. Lee has to check Raptors for information if they're taking top side, and now they know everything. Yeah, I mean, it's very true. Getting it is getting it is solid, but I mean, there's a, there's definitely an option to have this contested. You're losing your golems and top crab guaranteed. Denying the cannon here. I mean, this is tough for your Camille. Really bad. Did he get the? It looked like he might have snuck into experience range at the end there. Balling has pushed, so Balling can move now. Yoshik is level five two. Can't contest Drake because of the advantage. Piyoshi can't reach XP to 6 2. I think he's too behind. Yeah. Oh! That's a good chunk. Oh, Not okay. They both end up coming to flash. <laughs> I mean, alright. A little interesting. This is level <laughs> 6 to level 5. I mean, this should be favored for. Well, actually, I don't know. Did Flandre base? I don't think he did. Did he? I don't think he based, yeah. Yeah, he didn't base. Flandre didn't base. Actually. Oh, they got the Herald, though. Oh, man. That's actually really good for EDG then. Oh, <laughs> Actually, it looks like he based. He's doing oh, way too much damage. Okay. All right. This looks like a pickaxe, double longsword, Aatrox. Serrated Dirk. Yeah. Eyeball gaming. Uh oh, death. <laughs> oh, that guy's dead. They give it to Scout. This is a really good angle for Renato ult, by the way. Don't you just send the Renato ult in this choke? Oh, they got past it. They got past it. Oh my god. Wait, the, the Vera spread, though. Oh, what the f oh good flashes. Oh, What's happening here? Oh, big? Oh. Huge. Oh. Huge from DRX. Humongous dungus. JJ got one shot off the Sejuani ult. I got JDG for the other semi. I think JDG is just... They're just too good, man. Oh, barrel, where's your face? Let's see the, the make ult. Give us a make ult. Yep. Yeah, I think you just send it down, Mako. Okay, Camille just one shot Renata. But Camille died for it. I think it's fightable for EDG after, but it's pretty hard. Oh, Scout. Is he dead? Oh my god, the thing blocks it. The clone. Oh. Alright, not bad. And the the Sejuani's full HP randomly. But I don't think that he can do anything here. I think this is like kind of int by Pioshik. If they so pleased. But I guess they're going for 50-50. Pioshik smite has been... Okay, he, he, lo he lost the big one here. Oh, 11 HP. Zika's in trouble. Zika's in big trouble here. Oh, Zika's dead. That's huge. Deft is going to die too. Fondre can just... They, they can play it slow. A little WQ, a little love tap. A Luden's Tempest proc maybe. Yeah. Yeah, they're all dead, no? Uh, maybe not all. Maybe maybe not any of them, to be honest. Oh, sh I forgot the red side. <laughs> 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 Alright, there it is. Can they do Baron off this? Probably. I think if you're playing for your tournament life 2-1 there, you're going Nash when the enemy commits to Drake like that. Nope. Holy fuck. Oh, Viper. <gasps> he dead? Oh, he's doing the death move. He's dead, I think. I mean, do they have two TPs or just one? Oh, just the one. Are they both dying? Oh my this? god, it's huge. Oh, sh oh my god, he actually got one back. Oh, that was pretty good. Oh. Okay. Scout has no TP. I mean, I think they have to contest this now. Doesn't doesn't Fondre have to walk up? They're giving it? Wow, I think that Fondre could have walked up and they could actually do some work here. Okay, good from DRX. Big play. Okay. Wait, did Mako just... Wait, oh, never mind. Oh! The play! Oh, Oh, the Sejuani predict. The Sejuani predict is huge. Okay. That might be game. Oh, wait, did Sejuani end? Wait, Camille died. Right, but it's a reset. Yep. That doesn't matter. No, no, we're not all. It's huge here. No, no, we're not all. This should be fine. Also, no time for. Oh, okay, they got damage. it. Oh, carries okay. are chunked though. The carries are chunked. They, they should be just trying to disengage it. JJ is dead. 
I think they should be trying to disengage, but maybe they can keep on fighting. Scout has TP or Scout just TP'd back. Zika's looking. I think you go, no? Yeah. Viper lives. Ooh. Okay. All right. I mean, DRX win, I think. I think DRX just win because of this. I mean, You're I just don't think they can play into Hexex Soul. I think it's Hexex Soul is too fucking broken. I think Ash with Hexex Soul is a bit... Uh, yeah. It's a little crazy. It's a bit too nasty. JJ. Scout's dead? Scout's dead or what? Oh. Yes, he is. All right, game. Yeah, I think game's too hard to play versus Hexex Soul. Can't do anything. Both like top 10 in the world. Yeah, I mean top like mediocre for world championship status. Flandre is doing work. Hell yeah, Flandre, you did 35 damage. And then you stopwatch when you're getting... <laughs> Holy sh**, Flandre is so bad, man. It's so crazy. Okay. Yep. A little game five. Game five angle. Affilios. Okay. Affilios Akali. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Affilios Akali. All right. Let's see it. All right. I, I'm not, I don't think I'm a huge fan oh. of the Fiori here, to be honest. I really don't like it. I think Akali is really good into all three of these champs. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't like the Fiori here. I just don't think, I mean, I, I don't think you want to jinx because if you have jinx into Akali and like they're going to probably go with Jax here, like they're, I mean, you're pretty much asking for Jax in this situation. What is it going to be? Jax plus uh, Jax Thresh, Lulu? <laughs> if Flandre is decent at all, I feel like this is just like the freest Jax game you'll ever see in your life. I like EDG draft here. Yeah, I think EDG out drafted. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't really like DRX's comp. I think DRX kind of sold it in the draft. I think with the bot matchup that they had, there is no dive angle. I think what you do is Raptor red golems and then you go into bot side and secure. Oh, is that a solo kill? <gasps> oh, oh, I f***ed it up. Oh, Scout choked it. Scout with the biggest choke of the century, bro. He didn't know how much his Q cost. Holy. That is f***ing sad. What's Flandre doing here? I don't know. He's playing to lose. <laughs> oh, Flash W. Oh, he didn't go for it. Okay. Uh, Pioshik. Brother Pioshik. Okay, Pioshik. I mean, that's a f supposed to be a Kali favorite. Damn. King in with the ult. I mean, they both have TP. Flandre is fine here. I mean, it just needs to crash this huge wave. Oh, okay. I mean, that's big for Scout, getting that back. If they don't get kill here on bot, then I think this game is f***ing hard for uh, oh, DRX. Oh, Viper might be dead. Should be, yeah. Yeah. Flash. Okay. Yeah, I don't oh, think he's, he's inting here. Oh. Isn't he just dead? Holy okay. Greed's another kill. I mean, that's that's the bailout the def needed right here. Ah, this game is kind of all over the place, but one of those games though where I feel like the comp camp is gonna be tough. It reminds me, it's it's just game two all over again. I think. I come back and DRX is reverse swept. What the? F oh my God, Zika again! Dude, Scout is just getting outplayed by Zika. Damn, that's crazy, bro. Crazy to see Scout, uh, Scout just getting outplayed by Zika. Okay. Arlesia has two core. I don't think you want to fight this. Flandre? Oh, is that him? <laughs> is that him? Is that my boy? <laughs> oh. Hell yeah, that's him. Oh, dude. There's the there's my boy oh, Flandre, bro. I know he's going to ruin the game. Hell yeah. And you guys thought I was a Flandre hater. Nope. King in perfect position. Scout is a good one too, but he's getting marked by Zeka. Can't really flank, flank an Ezreal. Doesn't matter if he kills Beriel. Flandre Burnley. Death is dead. Oh, oh, he missed the E-Scout. Zika? <gasps> Pioshik! Oh, Pioshik! Dude, and the whole time Flandre is just trying to kill Barrel, man. Dude, it's it over. Damn, that's so crazy. I mean, they should never fight this. You're 100% right. They even got a good fight, and they still lost. That's crazy that they fight this. Yeah, this is this is like this is how you can tell they're just not in the game mentally. They they got fucking shook, dude. Now the Viego is randomly like strong. That's uh, crazy. Oh, 
Oh, once again, the EDG have a small prayer. Oh, what the f He has no going? R. What is he, he doing? He has no R. What's he doing? He's what is he doing, him. dude? He's choking out of his mind. Holy oh, shit. my god, man. What the f man. I'm happy that we ganked mid and top, guys. I'm sure you will carry. <laughs> That's what you're saying in comms right now. Yeah, I'm saying that in comms 100%. Oh no. What is Fondre doing? Oh, no. Dude, they're breaking down. Holy sh. Oh! oh my god, dude. This is crazy, bro. This is like this is like a reputation killer, bro. This is like this is terrible for you as a player. Like this is one that like everyone remembers. Oh, they're well, going like for it. I mean, they see the TP. I like it. Okay. I think it's a little scary, but all right. Three core on Ezreal. Like, they're very strong here if they get a fight. Yeah. I trust you. Like, I think they just start Nash to mask Fiora from not getting ganked, you know? And then I like yeah. it a lot. I wanted RNG to do this, EDG to do this. Just mask your Fiora or your split pusher by just starting Nash. It's important that JJ eats that. Oh my god, where is he aiming that one to? What the fuck? What the Wait, what is going on? Oh my god, Viper? Ooh. They just threw the shutdown. Dude, I feel like DRX is like not playing this as clean as they could. They're going to walk in without Mako. That's really the play? Okay, GG. Oh, Scout missing E again. Yep. Stopwatch. I mean, they got the thing to heal. They're trying it. They're real. Like, Viper is trying, man. He's trying, but Scout deserves punishment for what he did this game. So this is a pretty big... Ooh. I don't like the trapping here. Yeah. You like this? I think they should have just done Drake insta. Oh, okay, oh maybe they're works. smart? That's oh, why wow. we're here. That's why we're here. That's, yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> it is a game five mood, though, to start trapping in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, okay, pure chic. Oh, he got it! No oh. way, J JJ missed the... Smart. Oh my god, bro. Everyone is griefing Viper. <gasps> Everyone's flashing on Viper. Everyone's flashing on Deft. Oh my god, they're just griefing him for zero. And what is Scout doing? Dude, everyone is griefing Viper for zero reason. Holy. It's just crazy, bro. It's oh. just I feel so bad for Viper. It's like literally just the canyon treatment. He's just getting the canyon treatment from his team. What do you want out of your AD, bro? What do you want out of your AD? You know what? Get canyon and Viper on the same team. <laughs> oh, man.